Yes. And Faker goes Whoa. with Cassidy again. Wow. So, basically, he was thinking about taking the rise here because again the matchup in the Lulu is good for the rise to sit in free form. The one thing I like about Kasten in this context is they have the Sivir to clear mid lane very early on in the game if they want to and they can send Faker to a side lane earlier on. Not to mention they have a lot of global oh, oh. presence to make up for this thing. Yeah, and I cannot wait to see what happens in this early game. Here we go. Normal spread by both teams to start this one off as we pan down Summoner's Rift, the battlefield where both teams will leave everything on the Rift before they leave here today. SKT, now they have to worry about who gets Doe first. Big team fight in the top lane. Gorilla hitting up both Wolf and Bangi. The teleports are going to come in. That's Kuro. Smab's already there to fight. Eyes on Bangi. They turn to Wolf now. He's safer in the jungle for them to go after. And it may be him going down. They try to get the cripple towards him. That's going to be Wolf going down. First blood to the two Tigers. Remember that Faker is not running teleport. He didn't want to leave the mid lane. He just. Four members go down and assist him. Make sure he can push it out. SKT oh, those things. Level six here. That's an 80 oh. carry left alone on top side. Bray in a real bad spot, and he hopes to get on his knees and do just that. Stays alive a little bit longer. Can Faker get the final hit? Here comes Gorilla. Should be able to Done. pick it up, but it goes to Bray. Two to one now in favor of the Koo Tigers. Wolf started off taking that one very nicely as a level two Shen was able to clear aggro. As he is usually reactive, sits in the back, a little more proactive this game. You see him towards the top lane, hasn't had finished vision of Bengi, so he's sitting behind. Smith. Little action towards the bot side. The teleport coming in right now from Marin. His ultimate is up. They lay down the equalizer. Wolf should be able to get out of this one. Marin into the fight now. Kuro and Prey are the targets. And that's going to be Kuro going down. SKT seemingly pulling this one back in their favor with just a few kills to the bot lane. And that's a double kill for Marin. So much for that goal lead and also yeah. a complete lapse of pressure from the Koo Tigers. Fager made it down there on an Ignite Cassidy. Really no damage. Kuro can return and Gorilla gets taunted. Oh, that teleport is down, so this means the fight is the three we have on your screen. That's instantly Bangi getting hit up as the Gorilla gets himself in with the Unbreakable Will and sets up for a kill. And Hojin, as he was headbutted straight into all the skill shots, makes sure it work of Bangi. They're in the wave, pushing Smet back, knows the jungle pressure is towards the bottom side, so he has time to Fager's deal coming up. Yeah, a bit Mar of damage. Marin is baiting this, he just wants to poke down Smet, he doesn't want to kill him right now, he's waiting for Fago to join. Rek'Sai ultimate as well, just behind their blue, so Bangi should be here in time. They may not even need him, Stand United is on, they hit the end of the top by Wolf, and Faker picks himself up a kill now. And now they continue. And this is what SK Telecom wanted to do with their comp. We talked about it in the pick and ban phase, how strong it is in the mid game. But it's the item differentials right now. The Rumble and the Kasten are huge. Equalizer missed, but Smeb is all alone. See what happens, Faker. Not gonna be able to chase down. Who can start dragon yeah, now? Who can go dragon? Who can go straight to dragon? Side of the map. Smep playing super aggressive, trying to force someone to move over and stop him. Has the mobility on this Raven. That's a free dragon for Kutai. Should be at least. the pit. Chompers are down to stop up Marin. Looks like he could not throw that ult down as he just used it. Still, Hojin on the backside. Gorilla throws on the ultimate. That's about to wear off soon. He could be the next one. All flashes forced over by Ku. A chase from Marin and Bengi. Kicked. Yeah, Faker Kassan over Edwards rage. Faker over the wall. Are they going to be able to take down Kuro? The wild growth is down. The first one is Gorilla. That's going to be few more kills. Hojin and Prey fall to the ground, and they've only lost their support. Eight to four now for SKT. You and Jinx also just picked up a BF sword of extra damage to go through. But honestly, the mobility of SKT is extremely punishing here. That's a lot of love for Gorilla right there. He gets himself out safely. Kuro's throws on the wild growth himself to deter the fight even. And now there's so many different plays that they have to pick from. Dragon is up. SKT wants to stop the timer, but Baron also has oh, to defend it. Great stop huge by Gorilla. Huge knockout. Four people from SKT. And a joke there's point, though. Rockets coming in. Very nicely done. Can they get themselves some more? SKT sees that it's a very bad situation. Ian, and then you saw what they decided to do was run away. We don't want to chase into this choke point here. We've gotten low. Faker. That was very, risky. Very close. Sivir ulti is down, Flash, though. Flash, Hojin gets the wild growth. They may still decide to chase this. Faker throws out a few more. He has not been able to hit a good fight here. The team is looking they go. for it. Looks like Rek'Sai coming in. We just saw Bengi use his ultimate just below the team. They're all going to be there. Bengi gets hit back. He's going to be able to turn around now. They have Prey in the perfect spot, and they take down Prey. They take down Gorilla, and it's just chaos for Ku. They cannot find the right positioning. A double kill as well for Bang. Or Faker flank. It's making it pretty safe on Faker, and now they're fading oh. the Baron. Smab about to get smushed. The Harpoon does not hit, but they get the smite down, and the Flame Spitter will cook him just right. Well done on Smab. Can SK 
Telegram has been full control for most of this game. Whenever there was an opening, I feel, for Ku Tigers, they didn't take it. If SKT is the one starting the fights, they don't have to worry about those things. And Prey instead had to run from Equalizer, Cassian, and everything else. Home guard stand united onto Smeb. He may be able to fight back here. Kuro gives him a very early wild growth that doesn't pop anybody up. Still is using it to get out of the fight instead of in. SKT is running down the lane. Hojin can't even help on the outside right now. Somehow, Ku gets out, only losing Prey. No, there goes Hojin. Now goes down Gorilla. SKT was just looking to light the fuse. And from a double kill to a triple kill, bang is also getting huge. Coming into the playoff in the LCK was stop picking hyper carries for Prey. And his summoner's back nice and fast and it's got to be very difficult for Smeb to make any oh, moves against the team with on the hunt against the team that can rift walk. A very nice Sonya's through the wind slash. Smeb's gonna go down in this one. He tries to put the nail in the coffin but ends in it ends up in it himself. Who tried to bait the side lane brush right there which is a popular play while you were behind. Faker you could tell was kind of waiting for it with the way he juked side to side near the brush where Kuro was waiting. Having a great performance, he's not been the highlight, but he's always doing so much damage in these fights. He's just consistently doing so well. I have to remember that that ribbon was picked at the end. Oh, Counter no. picking. Oh, Hojin gets critted down immediately. A bit of Luden's echo on the end there. Wild Growth goes on to him. Everything's been used in defense. They can't get the engages they want. It's the Ku Tigers. They love to engage, but are consistently engaged on this game by SKT and their confidence. Obviously, SKT still has massive map control. SKT. SKT. <laughs> Just tilting. Not the case in this game. Uh, definitely SK not the case. case. But there's also so many ways you can die at the same time. Here's one of them. Marin throws the equalizer down. They're able to split from the red carpet, trying to get back into their own base. The Zanya's on Faker, makes Prey take one step too close, but he is able to get out with the wild growth. Eyes on to Smeb now. Everybody actually focused that. Gorilla's able to come back in, but only hits Faker, and it leaves the back line completely open. Kuro and Prey fall immediately, using both summoners that they can. Teleport still up for Kuro, but it wouldn't have helped anyways. SKT could not could not stop chasing Ku. Ku could not <laughs> fall back fast enough. Prey kited his heart out, but it wasn't yeah. enough. SKT used Zonius properly, ran down the fight, and they'll win the game. That's going to be SKT earlier than what their longest game would be. That was 43-30. They put a stop to that. It's a 42-minute game one. SKT is two wins away from the Summoner's Cup.